I wanted to go over what is autologous serum tears. So these are tears where the patient has their own blood drawn. The serum is extracted from the blood through centrifuge. The concentration can be varied. Typically, compounding pharmacies um, recommend between 20 to 75 percent. It can be made at even 100 percent, but it's not always necessary. Now, these tears must be stored properly. So they must be frozen in tiny little bottles, and the patient will take out one little vial at a time and keep it refrigerated. This is because the, uh, the serum tears, these components can uh, over time be not as effective. So generally it's re recommended only to use the little vial for about four to five days and you take a fresh one out of the freezer. These tears can often be helpful for dry eyes, epithelial defects, and recurrent corneal erosion. So in terms of studies in the literature, some actually have said that autologous serum is comparable to artificial tears and that there wasn't much difference. However, others have said that it has led to improved ocular surface objectively as well as subjectively by patients. And this other study published in January of 2021 showed that the serum tears actually improved tear production um, tests and you could see it through uh, certain uh, procedures called impression cytology. Here are some visuals of how to produce autologous serum tears where you draw the blood and dilute them and store them in these tiny vials where you only use one at a time.